What's up, everyone? Two Sundays in a row now. PRBR. Ooh, this is like good. this is like our own series now, mini series. We didn't even anticipate that on Watch the YouTube that channel. Pole. Yep, I just saw it. My peripheral is strong. We have another big announcement to make. Last week we announced the rollout of Team Identities, and this week we're announcing, or just announced, depending on when this video dropped, our team formation. Which means all of the best players in the world have been assigned to their teams around specific arithmetic. Does that make sense? Professor Paul, back at it again. <laughs> Our lacrosse advisory board times Josh Sims, led by Seth Tierney. Okay, now we're just, sorry about that. Put together these teams based on some things that we'll share with you right now, but we're really, really stoked. And the exclusive went to the players, meaning they made the announcements. So again, if you don't know by now, you should find out. You should probably go look. Go look at that. That is called an ocean. The sun is about to set here, Hermosa Beach. B-Rob's neck of the B beach. Bimosa. If you're not being more, be Mosa. Well, let's move on. Take a look at that view. It's pretty good. Uh, we don't have a flip screen on this device here, but I'm assuming that you're getting a look at the sun that's setting right now on the beach behind us, which is really nice. All right, back to the subject at hand, which is our team formations. And the group who put this together did so on four big principles. The first two are most important. If you have not noticed already, a lot of these teams, players went to school together. So that was point one. We wanted to match teams and the players based on the college they played for. Because for a long time, college lacrosse has been the pinnacle of our game, especially at the Final Four. And for generations, fans have built allegiances to the universities that they attended and the sports programs that play for those universities. So you have a team like the Whip Snakes, that's comprised of primarily Maryland players. Let's go, Terps. Terps, guys. But, Let's you know. go. So that was point one. Point two was former pro team chemistry. So a lot of us, like myself, have been playing professional lacrosse for over a decade. And we've built relationships like with Kyle Hartzell, who you know from this channel. And Kyle and I didn't know each other in college. He went to Salisbury State when I went to Johns Hopkins, but we've played together for over a decade. Kyle and I have that chemistry and both of us play for Atlas Lacrosse Club now and the Big Rig. <laughs> I've never played with the Big Rig. I'm really excited about that announcement. Yeah. So that was number two. <laughs> Pro team locker room chemistry. You might notice with the Redwoods as well. You have Kyle Harrison and Peter Baum and Joe Walters and even Brian Carolunas. So a lot of guys formerly that played together both in LXM and previously in professional lacrosse. So that's point two. Point three is where our lacrosse advisory board came in and they ranked all the players by skill on a one to five basis and they made sure the teams were balanced, but that was not a difficult task as these teams are stacked. Really yeah, sad. They're, I can't say that. <laughs> kind of said it, which was awkward. It was one foot in, one he foot goes, out. Just say the it, the teams are stacked <laughs> and the fourth one is we kept account for age right there are guys that are playing in their 30s like me and kyle and there are guys that are 22 like trevor baptiste and connor kelly and then there's a dalmatian puppy that's the cutest thing i've ever seen how old's your dog he's uh five months and then there's the dalmatians lacrosse club which we haven't announced that's going to be the seventh team coming into the PLL next year. Hank and Harper are gonna be on it. Dalmatians LC, <laughs> bunch of five month olds. So those are the four areas that we looked at. And then there was some other tweaking going on, but we feel really good about the team formations. Again, if you haven't seen them yet, check out your favorite players on social media, Instagram and Twitter. They announced which teams they're playing on and then the PLL did a big drop shortly thereafter. And that's it. Another uh, announcement vlog. But I do want to get back to some lacrosse programming because we're in March now. So this will go out tomorrow, Wednesday. We'll drop a shooting workout with Atlas teammate Kyle Hartzell. Let's, Let's go. go. We'll see you then. 